But one thing is, this is the last, best of three, the last game of CSGO this season, and it's on your doorstep. So let's go all night long. And this would just be heroic getting a tick on their trophy cabinet. The last tick. Maybe they could put a tiny star if they win this one. <laughs> Magisk's gonna hide behind sandbags. And we get an all in from Heroic. But good U tilt to flush him out. It's Heroic with the first blood. It's Apex looking to take it back. The other in game leader got a frag. How about Apex? Yeah, not quite. It's an assist instead as Jabby comes around the site and they clear out the three original defenders. Stown shuts down Sphinx, and we get the classic here from Heroic. Kills from everybody. Yeah, and a very, very fast round as well as they come quickly up the A ramp. No retake in store for Vitality in this situation. It's a done deal. Just a few steps behind Sphinx. It's been incredible. But with just the Desert Eagle, he's got all of Heroic coming right at him. Little spam damage, not enough. Does set up Dupree though for a nice second. That headshot necessary. Tess in through middle, also stuffed. It's a triple. We talked about Dupree's multi kills. He's going one better. However, six seconds. That bomb's got to get planted. Kadian has to hold them off. Presses through the smoke. And Apex with the chance. Woo! It comes down because of Dupree. That would have been his Jackie Chan moment right there. <laughs> that was a, a nice try. It's down to the wire here, 15 seconds, and they're still not even pressed short, not even at the top of ramp. Those five seconds to spare will be critical, and Sphinx is gonna shave Shush off the place. Oh. Down fumbles with the bomb, and Apex from the corner just owns them. Four kills out of Apex. What were you expecting? Wow, he zipped up four body bags right there with that M4. That was beautiful. Turning on a dime, uh, but... Yeah, we got to talk about it, Maui. What the hell? Is that? They, they take down Zaiwu, and they think that's the tank on the bomb site, and then Apex, just the singular landmine that's left there, somehow gets the final four. I mean... This is what Heroic need, right? They need a yep. hype win. They need a hype win, yep. one massive play to get into it. A little gasoline on that fire. Missed shot out of Zaiwu. Oh, but Sphinx. He comes through the smoke, makes it very awkward on the bomb site for the three players that do manage to get up. And Magisk's Molly burns Kadian out. He did still have the AWP, didn't get anything done. More frags to Glocks than the one weapon Heroic actually had to work with. Jabby gets his hands on the AWP. Would love a save, but he's such a stuck position here. They'll give him a freebie. Jabby can fight tooth and nail for this. He's got time. Nade takes him down. Not ideal. More util forcing him out, but nobody's able to capitalize on it. He gets the scope back up, keeps everyone on the edge of their seat. I mean, Yabby yeah, showed some teeth mm. that last round, but this round, yep. he's dead first. Serves as the push, though. Heroic gonna try to play the pace. They lost the mid play. Ooh, everybody gets shut out. A kill apiece between Sphinx, Magisk, and Dupree. They waited for this gun round. They're getting spammed through smoke. Yo, Vitality are coming in, charging them down, and just shutting them out. There is nothing here for Heroic to get excited about other than Glock spamming smokes. That's the biggest opening they've had so far. Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He flashes himself in. So hard to do that effectively. Paragon. Always leading by example. Meanwhile, Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. With Heroic's out of nowhere timings, they have to connect and so far they have. A little peek on short gets Magisk a double, missed shot. Zaiwu, oh, he leaves the door open. Oh. No! What is that? Quadruple Deagle out of Jabby, and we get Heroic's first moment of glory. All right. Okay. Maybe Zaiwu isn't optional. <laughs> Sphinx, though, dead oh. to Shush. A world class Deagle 4K. Unreal. And he can't believe it. This guy likely has the best first bullet aim on the roster. Just the, the last kill here is oh. disgusting. Dude. Oh! <laughs> Sit down. 
plan goes perfectly. Slicing up the 4v4. The pack runs in. Magisk also cut down by Stown. So there we have it. A run boost opening on ramp between Kadian and Zaiwu. And that's going to be a conversation this evening. The op department between these two teams. Zaiwu switched back to the A1S on this one. He actually tagged Kadian for 46 damage. But if he had the op, that could have been a different story. But because of the missed shots we saw in the couple of rounds prior, the one that opened up the whole Yabby moment, I think that's when Zaiwu said to himself, okay, I'm switching back to the rifle right now. I'm having a little bit of difficulty on the AWP. And yeah, just not enough, not quite the kill. Yeah, we might be a little insufferable today talking about Zaiwu because of just like, you know, yesterday's game and how much he's important and... But they're still outnumbered. The majority of Heroic are in his position to try and jump on this. They're gonna give Katie in the op contact. They're down to just the Jabby Util. CTs decide to push, but even then, those two get nothing. It banks on Apex and Dupree. If not for the third and fourth defender from Vitality, this would be Heroic sweeping away another A site. Now, two of their players low, but that clock is also ticking dangerously. Jabby sticks around with wall bangs, trying to keep them occupied. Majority of the defense is still very much here, and the commitment comes in on the B site, but Dupree from the corner gets a double. And his doubles were a key piece. Just a break, a break of round wins out of Heroic. Provided Dupree's rotation is early enough, he makes the perfect decision. Molly comes down in case they were trying to go for the boost up. We've seen Kadian take that oh. route. Oh, Magus just got a glimpse of it. Repeeks out and shush, expecting him to be stood out in the open, suddenly gives that strength right back to Heroic. But they're gonna pause. Sphinx is very much locked in. He has no smoke to put out fire if one finds him. And, oh, his teammate does. Okay, so Sphinx still gets to play for a little bit longer, but the frag grenade will find him. Can't put that out. And Zaiwu, now or never. His second kill finally put up into the feed, but Apex still one versus three. Heroic just churned through the defense. I mean, if anything, that smoke is a death sentence because they have a frag and Sphinx has 20 health. Zaiwu looked a little bit slow to the dump again. I mean, they threw a perfect flash to make it feel like they could have crossed, and they in fact had. Zaiwu got the second one in. The trade was imminent and still a minute on the clock. And they're actively holding on to space, which is huge. Oh, oh. no, you can't die. <laughs> oh. And Jabby there too. So lock it in. Two and 12 is his final score at the end of the half. We talk about five bad maps. This could be one of the worst halves that Zaiwu has ever put forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ever. I watched back his overpass. On overpass. Yeah. Of course, there's still time for the B defense to save it. We see this immediate move from Heroic to try and just strong arm their way through Dupree. Ooh. And a double headshot leaves Heroic in an awkward spot. Do they do too much is the question. I mean, got 10 seconds. If Bomb goes down, this one's done. Dupree has cut off Kadian. Confirmed that Bomb is here. What is happening? There's You've got seven Heroic. seconds and Kadian is going to save in round 15. Hmm. Some stats can be saved. But a 2 and 12 out of Zaiwu, that's toast. Zaiwu's flick missing on Gabby to start things off. It was the last time he even tried to hop. And then, okay, hold on. Here he is. Another chance. But no! Oh. Dupree gets the trade. It's uncanny. It's not happening right now. It's not happening today. Guys, I think he's washed. Are, are we sure Zaiwu connected to the server? We sure that's not somebody else? Bless Dupree for getting the kill back. Smoke comes over. Vitality looking to clear out sight. It's burning for now. Shush dives in. Two sets of Berettas just charging them down. Kadian whips back between them all. And then Tess has clear Sphinx. But that's damage on Apex out of Kadian. <laughs> the Lone Ranger <laughs> just <laughs> runs on, through sight. Looked like he was on 60 hertz for a second, the way he was flicking around. All right, well, let's relive this for a second. That's another opportunity for Zywo there. And you know the kind of person and leader Kadian is. He's definitely telling his team to key into this. Apex trying to play resource management, but also looking to take the first duel. Ooh, a peek. Shush gives him a little skin. Magisk shuts that one down, but with the entry, Bomb is actually heading to the A site, but as they make that decision, they also lose Dupree. So they second guess it, double back, thinking Magisk has this, and in reality, he's a dead man sitting on the site. Heroic just pulling them apart. 
And to Vitality, that felt like everything was going well. And it all gets upended. Zaiwu, a chance to shine, a chance to finally come alive. Eight seconds. He predicts there's somebody close, can't get enough damage in, and leaves Apex in an unwinnable position. Vitality went from thinking they had that whole thing under wraps to it slipping from both hands at the same time. You know, to the untrained eye right there, it looks like Yabby is toying with his opponent, having fun with it, but in reality, he's trying to get to this position on the right until he sees someone on the stairs because the longer he waits, the more, cons uh, the more conviction will come in the sight hit from his teammate, from his opponent's teammates. Oh, double boost up. It's at least taking time, and so as it takes time, we will get some form of defense. It's Kadian himself. Oh, Magisk. Didn't get at him. Zaiwu's right there. Double Molotov. Rotators. Painful position. 12 seconds as well. So this one boils down to the last moments of it. Vitality take their sweet time. But they cleared Kadian. They cleared Shush. And then instead of just losing it straight up, like you're alluding to Maui, and going into a comfortable save, we still get a Heroic that loses half of them at least. And Dupree hunting exits. And we'll Vitality. see about those exits right now. Good angle for Dupree. One left here. And Heroic, of course, make no mistake, still have enough money to put together a buy. Tessa staying alive would only be a bonus. Finding the trades that they need to, it's fine. It's a drop in the bucket, though. There's so much more that they have to show to get back into this. Oh. See if Apex can read them. If he can set things up or if we're going to get a faster Heroic in this one. There we go. Yeah, they know they've got Magisk against the wall, but yep. he tries to fight out. Jabby's ready. Apex looking the wrong way, and it's a sweep at the base of B. Don't let your mistakes become you, say Heroic. And they've lived with enough regret to know that the only thing holding themselves back were, were themselves. You know, statistically, we talk about Heroic having some of the biggest underperformers from group stage to playoffs. Yeah. Tonight, we're not getting even an anomaly. This is all of Heroic, all over the map, doing as they please, shooting Zaiwu in the back of the head, keeping him stuffed at 5-17. and 17. So I love that Heroic, with this kind of a score, just take it to them. Don't let Apex have any time. Don't let them set the tempo. You are here for your trophy. You are here for your win. And they are two rounds away from doing exactly that on Vertigo to kick off this series with a statement. You know, we watched Vitality lose their win streak on Anubis. And this that we watched them almost lose it on Nuke. Yeah. And this is that triple B push I was talking about where Heroic are comfortable doing it. Nobody else does that. Apex doesn't know what kind of space he's created in this spot. And uh, for sure, he should be nervous. Teammates are coming back to join him. <gasps> just Ooh. as Tess dives down. But that could just draw Apex out into the open. Oh no. Two players to support inside sight. Tess about it. just keeping himself down and he pops up to kill Apex. All of a sudden, Magisk, he's gonna feel stranded. At least with fire on Tess. Now oh. smoke, he'll hold this. A frag grenade, not oh. enough. Six health as Tess is a boulder behind the sandbags. Vitality just want him dead so they can at Shoot least leave or go in. You need to be shooting his feet right now. They gotta kill him and Stown's now coming in to help. Vitality looks so scared oh. and then they, they just throw the molly. Stown comes around the corner. Tess robs away another. Vitality finally take him down. Zywu with a missed off shot. And Tess staying alive is the end of Vitality. Oh, wait, that's, that's what What's that is all about. Staying alive, but the, the, the molly that came out too early. That's where it feels like Vitality, you're almost just going to wave the white flag after that one. This was so impossible for them to piece together. And like you said, you can shoot the, your feet yeah. through the wood at the bottom of those sandbags. You can go for a spam right there. We saw how close Tessus was to perishing. Six health. Javi puts up the play of the map that invigorated Heroic. And now Vitality have been drawn into the mud. That's exactly what's happened. A chance back for Zywu. Barely alive, but with an A site wide open, they still play their options because Apex is also inside of B. Really, anybody on Vitality has. Sphinx has picked his moments here and there to put himself to an even kill death scoreline, but far and away, Heroic have looked like better individuals and a much better team. Kadian's going to be cautious with it, but he could very well find them. He's already thinking about if they're leaving, so he... Oh, he's right oh, 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 down he goes. And not only that, he sees Zywu walking back. Yep. 
So they all depart. But there's no time to fall back, that it's not going to be the A site, and then they can go and stack the correct location. Oh, but you know what? An interesting move here out of Vitality. Splitting up for once. I'm just going to run it up. Katie and kills Dupree. Nothing. We saw it previously. Two players tried to get in on each site. And just like that, you thought you had a special plan. Instead, all you have is a flat ending and a flat first map. Because this whole time, Stown's been sitting on sandbags. There is nothing more that Vitality will offer us on Vertigo. And this felt like one of those maps so deeply entrenched in their map pool, meant to be their forte. And instead, it is their coffin. A shocking one-sided result from Heroic. A top frag out of Javi. And a castle with Cadian's name on it. Safe are Heroic as they will go to that second map. Mirage could be where we end the spring season. Slow crawl, smoke down, the only pieces of util, so it all sets up this B hit. Oh, wow. It's a long range gush. Zaiwu still trying to put up kills, and sure enough, gets himself a double. Dupree it's... catching Kadian, but Bomb is still on site, Ooh. and Tessess creates that necessary space for Shush to come off of this plant and reposition. Retakes on. As mentioned, no kit. And they're just going to play this shoulder to shoulder. Sphinx and Dupree, Zaiwu's henchman, looking to move this one outwards. Tessas takes a position up in market, leaves Shush on site. That's where Sphinx will fall. This would be three for three in pistols, the way of Heroic. A bomb tap to get them out. Nice. Ten seconds still. And he thinks Tessas is further back, oh. when in reality, he's there to take it away. Heroic T-side pistol. Triple Mac 10 set up for the B hit, but the bodies are here for Vitality. Oh, Dupree though, nade timing. Flashes are good. Blinds both players, and Javi just splits them down the middle. They still don't know about Sphinx Stone. Now they do. Fires off. It's Apex's Deagle to do all the work so far. Suddenly heroic. Hit by a bit of a hold. Zywu Scout claims one, but a bounce back from the same two that closed pistol. Shush and Tessess to even this out. And Shush, he's playing his own weight in game two. He doesn't know where these Vitality players may be, but eventually you do have to get onto this site. With 56 HP, there's a shot. Oh, and Majisk, it's actually him that strikes in this one. Ooh. Just a peek. <gasps> Shush sees this as a chance to only plant inside the corner. Zaiwu's still worried about the market play. Oh, but he catches him with Scout. It's patience from Vitality. Patience from Heroic. He was probably just too shy to ask for it when he joined the team. Yeah, for sure, right? <laughs> Here we have Glocks trying to charge down, so chance for Dupree to rack up the numbers. Should have been. Instead, he dies to Glocks. Oh, another oh. dink. Okay, now both defenders are low. Weapon's gonna be difficult to grab. Tessess and Stown oh. come through. No way, what? just Glocks! Tessess grabs the M4, gets two additional kills, and what do you know? Heroic with Glocks Wait. storm the site. No, no, not a single armor buy? Coming at him from the same angle. I'm not sure what Sphinx was holding at that moment. Even with the crossfire not set, Jabby just flew by. Some kind of gap of communication right here. It felt like just like the fact that you don't get any nades out versus just pistols. They had nothing to work with. And the thing is, it looks undignified to lose a round like this. That was maniacal. It, it, it looks undignified. <laughs> they walk through. Oh, Jabby disrespects it. Not timing. That timing just by walking through smoke. Oh, oh, oh. that? Yeah. Commits to the spray, gets the double, tries to go beyond that, but at least Zaiwu's here inside sight by tucking back behind triple. The palace peak that will come won't find him. And it reveals itself. So Zaiwu's trying to put together the picture as Sphinx just gets a smoke spam frag versus Stown. This one's not out of the realm of possibility oh, for Vitality. And this is a big risk by Zaiwu, you know, he's open to connector the entire time. Bomb's committing. Oh. Tessess on his own here. We're gonna get that Cadian split. Oh, because he made sound. Dupree so fixated, and Sphinx wasn't watching, but at least he gets the trade back. It's still an open door for Tessess. He's so concerned that he's gonna get jumped on if he goes for the plant that he can't. So he's gonna hide bench. He only has five extra seconds, and with that going down, this one falters. They thought they had the timing. Kadian did a great job of clearing corner, but then Tessess outnumbered and scared. Dude, I mean, Sphinx, he gets four kills this round, all in different positions, yes. so it doesn't look like a sequence. 
You know, a stark contrast to the round prior where we had Vitality's players peeking up top mid, taking a glance down underground. Now there's nothing but the Sphinx cat hold. Zaiwu spam smoke, more arriving, easy for the Israeli. Third one, not quite his. Apex trying to finish it off. They know they've got Katie and Wounded. They know they've got Heroic in a tough spot. Remember, Bomb is still down Catwalk, so it's going to be very difficult with this amount of time and with Katie and over here to ever get that back. They can hunt frags all they want, but now they know exactly where the last man is. Kadian stuck here. Magis sweeps him, and Vitality will take a two-round lead. You know, we get a meaty 2k out of Spinks, but that's a team effort right there. It's when they feel like Heroic, who had five in mid, are going to decide to come through the smoke. There's the flash peek out of Zaiwu to get the first kill in information, and then Spinks in the perfect spot to play. <laughs> Both these IGLs are unhinged. Oh my god. But this Maybe. is this is a round that surely Vitality will take cleanly this time. Yeah. You don't get two of those in a half, Heroic. Now the odds are something like one in a thousand in tier one play to win without any armor, no utility. You just making that number up? Peter tweeted that out a long time ago. I can't remember the exact okay. Oh my mm. god. It's easy. Take your breath away, Magis. He's like, finally, they come to A. Yeah, right? Wanted a little action, got some. This will be a huge tell for Heroic. Javi getting ever closer. Look how they're using triple to avoid his game. Yeah, oh. they give up a back. You know, Magisk was giving them a ton of space, but just at that final moment, strikes down Tessess. Javi's wounded. It's not comfortable oh. for Heroic, even with oh. all that space, but Zywu thought he had more room yeah. than he really did. Apex has to now come in, take up the slack. Javi smashes him down. And just like that, three instant kills out of Heroic. That was like betting on them being a bad team to go for the re-aggression and then the re-aggression again. And they aren't. Then they were watching the open choke point that caused Ooh. death. Shush. Yeah. Get around from him. Shush all over the place with that. Sphinx is preoccupied with the apartment's pressure. So that's a bit of a gap in the cat play that yeah, we've made seen their way from up. Vitality. They made their way up. Already on Arch. Sphinx looking to hold it back. Peeks around. Kadian's already hit the footing, though. Dupree, chance to shine. He's lost his teammate and his rotate. And Javi makes sure that he keeps on ripping off heads. Stown Ooh. executes Magisk. Nothing here for Vitality to be proud of, and Zywu's gonna get pushed up close. Scope is heard. And yeah, they're toying with him. Wall banging him down to half health. Stown flushes him into the spawn. He'll peek off the flash, bring Shush with him. More challenging on every step of the way. And he's gonna make a sprint away towards that B site. Listen, Javi's low. Oh, okay. Uh, not, not quite enough time. Yeah. About 15 come seconds on. right now. That would have been a bit much. He oh. dies. Javi's repositioned all the way around site. They were scared of him, but they, they eventually found him. A nice a couple of kills in the exit. That's something. But that call from Heroic is great. And you know yes. what? Oh, they don't want to get caught here, though. That flash just makes you a little nervous. You've got the cat player to help you, but that's three sets of eyes here in middle for the CTs. Dupree, gun's almost empty, but he'll hold on with Sphinx. They're able to lock in the exit. Not this time, Heroic. No success on the exit. And look at the angle that's opened up to Sphinx to play off the cap bricks in that way. You can't do that without mid control. Yeah, off attack pause is very nice as well. Yes. It, it wasn't just too obvious either. It was It was not just go for the instant mid pressure. As Kadian, you're not keeping this gun, buddy. <laughs> it's, wants, the, it's not happening. He right, wants a kill. so bad. A kill, but that's going to be it. Oh, big, big change up, big change up from Vitality here. Sphinx is on the A side, okay. already Ooh. finding a kill. That's gonna make Heroic rethink this a bit. No, they're already committed. They're just gonna dive it. And look how it works. Stown and Javi get completely stuffed. Finally, something goes back oh. in his shot on his own. Oh, he said quiet down. You're talking about Vitality too much. Spins to the guy on bench and takes his third. And if I'm not mistaken, we haven't even heard a shush chant so far this weekend. But he just gave you all a moment. It's Dupree now on ticket on his own. Spinks will have stairs. He's definitely got the reps in on this position. Peek off of the triple stack. Dupree just the one. It's Shush again, folks. Two kills. Magisk trying to buy time, waiting for Zywu to come over. He stops the bomb at least. There's only 10 seconds, and Zywu could just throw that Hail Mary up. 
recovers the first, and a bomb plant oh. denied! Wall bang from Zaiwu, the legend of low strikes again! He's telling the story today. At least here on Mirage. A counter pick possible. An entry demanded of Tessess, which could easily be found. Oh. Look at this, Zaiwu just scoped in on apartments. Oh, he's solo here on the site, and uh, they had no idea about mid. I mean, window was smoked. That that has to be a miscommunication, or a lack thereof. Of it. Oh, okay, well, Debris, he's actually beating the Molly. Tess is, he doesn't expect this position. There's another timing here, but this time it could go back Vitality's favor. Dupree slides back, kills Tessess. That's market control for the CT side. A single kid on Apex, and everybody's running over. Everyone except Spinks, he's gonna walk. He's got that flank timing. And Kadian, playing behind Arch Pillar, hopes to cut any more support towards Market off. Deep Smoke gives a cap to the cap push. Shush, it gets away from him for a moment. Sphinx's flank connects, and Kadian's still alive and kicking, trying to dive behind cover. Waits and nails it. And now he's going to get pushed back by Dupree. Point blank. No, no scope, no but time. no time either. Oh, he's on his feet. Kadian's focus is something to behold. Not shooting too soon, keeping an inventory of the other target, staying away from that person. Focusing on the window, nailing the shot and delaying. One way or another, he'll get the clutch. The crowd respects it and you just have to tip your hat to him. What if, a clutch. It was you, so if needed you lose to. focus for one second there, you expose yourself to Mark and you think, what's the next thing I can hit? But when he's he such a good sense of danger in that regard. Oh. oh! Yeah, well, now he's done. Zaiwu puts him to rest for the end of the first half. Magisk 5-7, cracks a couple heads inside of the A site. This pace, the electricity off of that clutch comes in now to the favor of Vitality. And it's gonna be Stown with an attempt to shine. Wants to be an MVP, but can't. The clutch is Cadian's, and the half belongs to Vitality. Eight on the defense, and a T side up next. You guys have the pleasure of sending off CS this season. <laughs> and it's all about you. Cadian's USB down beneath Palace, taps into Sphinx. He gets himself a second. And now they're going to be exposed to the ticket player, but there is a bounce back already. Jabby comes up, taps down two. Third one on a silver platter, but it's Zaiwu. Oh, and a tap through smoke. That's nasty, but it's not enough. We're tied up quick. That's something cute at the end right there, but overall, two kills out of Kadian under Balk uncleared. We're posturing out mid first, but it is Vitality that get away with their initial positions, and it's Sphinx who gets away with a peek. Ooh. Took a ton of damage. Yeah, that could have been his death. Site. It's an open site. There's no one else here. Tessess oh. nearly claiming. Honestly. If nobody comes and gives a free frag to Tessess, Vitality just using the timing off of Sphinx to catch that one kill. Now, yeah, that's it locked in. Vitality bounce back. First gun rounds, first T round. Tess says, poor guy doesn't even have an escape path, really. That slows it down just long enough for teammates to come over. Okay, just okay. long enough. And they're ready to pounce right behind it. Tess says, take one with you. That's an interesting idea. It's a small ask of Tess with support now back behind him. He will die empty handed. Oh no, and a Molotov. Kadian, he's gonna start burning, backs up, still taking a ton of util damage. And it's just more of a commitment. Jabby, also nothing. Three players here for Heroic. It's the fourth man in that finally gets one. And that one is not simply enough. If it was just Tess, then it is just a save. That likely would have happened. But the fact that they can swarm the bomb site together, the support flashes were raining in. Kaden was getting mollied and blinded. He didn't know that he was even burning to death. Yeah. To get Kadian over, and we still saw the fumblings of Heroic's members. This time, they're just gonna pop off the flashes. Tessess, ooh, got a dink on Dupree because he lines them up. You can also calm it. Kadian looking to press out, shots whizzing by him. And he's got one pinned in the corner, but Shush is also smoked. It's a tall order to get this retake going. There's more smoke grenades that can be thrown out from Vitality. Heroic are gonna know how little it took for Vitality to even get in here. So what's the approach? 
A couple from the other side of sight. Kadian posted waiting. And oh. Zywoo, he's not going to see this. So all of a sudden, there is definitely a chance for Shush. They think oh. that CT player's further back. Spinks, the only one to hold. But he also has the molly for the bomb. And with that on top of it, there's no kit on the play. He burns. Jabby's dead. And the clock decides this is a clutch for Spinks. He's a utility at the end. Wins it. Beautiful for Vitality. Things almost got ugly right there. But when we talk about preparation and we talk about we talk about Zonic and we talk about them versus Heroic here on Mirage. Nobody this. actually inside sight. It's just gonna have to bank off the stairs play, which is looking patient. The off, which wow. is meant to be the support, gets nothing, and poor down just gets mopped up. But he's having a tough game. Damn, eight and sixteen. You know, this is a moment where Heroic are playing 2-2 two -two to sites, not sure where Vitality are going to go. And the last four rounds that Vitality have picked the site to go to, it's always been the weaker one. Bro, this off is oh. not safe. The save is in question, and even if they get forced back to B, oh, off oh. goes down. Shush has to grab it. This could be important. He dives down. Oh, he gets caught. Vitality clear them. And they're on fire. This has been they got yes, a they brilliant are. half. Banking on Stown to keep eyes in connector. And now that fight makes it uncomfortable, but Magisk's position now known. Still, Shush can't quite get that angle. We've got deep ramp play, and that deep ramp play could be what Heroic need. They stay tucked. They allow the cross, and now it has to be Kadian. He needs to peek deep. They've got that bomb plant going on default. Spam damage from Javi, but he doesn't stop the plant. It's still man advantage. It's still control of all sides of the site. But it's Javi back over top from Ticket. He'll clear Apex out. And now Zaiwu given a chance to shine again. He sits back and they wait. And now he's getting uncertain because Kadian is hunting him from behind. Yeah, sure enough. They'll squeeze into the bomb site, keep this map alive. Ooh. Tickled him. Yeah, but he, he retains his smoke for the next molly. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Stown fights instead, posts back up. Missed second shot, though. It's a chance for Magus to unravel it all. Kadian kills Zaiwu. Magus is still lost in smoke, but he gets himself a second. Tess his position known, can't bring anybody with him. And so Vitality just forced their way outwards down. He tried to dive back, and then when he went back at it, he saw the scope of Zaiwu. And it was Magisk in front of that that chops him down. It's just a fail from both of the players inside of B versus the split coming in when they actually this time were in pretty good spots to hold it. Yeah, there was some decent nade pressure from Vitality. We had a couple flashes flying on over to make their jobs a little bit harder, but I, I will agree that Stown probably was the linchpin a lot in a lot of that defense there. He gets a second kill, but Magisk, it's a good jiggle that he throws out. He makes his life hard. But it's still opportunities that Heroic did miss out on, too. A silent creep into the unknowingness of whatever waits for him top mid or T spawn. And Vitality, they play grouped. Dupree taking it into his own hands with a double kill again. Javi is his next victim from down beneath. Dupree puts up a third. Oh, but Kadian just tries to keep it alive. I mean, that one shot, the only thing that goes for Heroic, it's desperate, isn't it? Or is it glorious? A 2v5 is what's required, and now the 1v2 falls to Tessess. He's gonna take a quick glance up towards Palace. Zaiwu doubles back, a smoke to get on bomb, a kit as well to stick it, but you would think that spam comes through in an instant, and so it's desperation, and it's not enough. Vitality to the T side of their opponent's map pick put forth a masterclass. Three tournament wins in a row on the line, and they're sure as hell not going down without a fight. Inferno is the last map of the spring season. Not alone whatsoever. Two players on the short stack. Smoke could make it weird. Definitely sections off the two pack of players, but oh, the Bredas can't quite finish the second. Dupree will get him. Oh, shush. Apex turns it down, extending, trying to catch that short kill. So he just exposes himself to mid. And for the first time in this series, it looks like Vitality will indeed take a pistol. Now, these aren't kill, just kills that you normally get. These are kills that they need to get.
Got a frag to go in with the pistols. Spam through smoke before they pop. Oh, it's a body block. Now there's gonna be a gap for Vitality to try and get around oh. with. Not that this will be comfortable. Not that this will be easy. Tess S from Orange is swarmed and still surviving. 10 on the clock. Jabby comes through. Nobody covering. No, oh. never mind. Oh, Zywu from on top of barbecue gives that little bit of cover. Damn heroic. Was he covering for the potential B flank? He might have got to half and They might not know. Okay, that jiggle will give him the information. Quick glimpse of one another. Oh, the repeat. Javi and Tessess. And Kadian is the third. Apex is just gonna run up. Gives his back to the 5-7. You thought he left. Yeah, you said you wanted to see that banana fight. Well, here we have it. First gun round out of the defense. Instantly, we get a critical hold on banana. And not just critical, convincing. And, and genuinely, I feel like even when her quote unquote choke, they obey the game plan. But now that they're here, What were the things that they prepped? Javi took his boost, lost his teammate, but holds on. He's gonna have to hold on for a long time. Stown trying to sprint over, no chance. The utility just dismantles that one. And so Vitality successful in putting down Bomb. Little sketchy there, but Spinks keeps his head down. Then Stown gets smoked off on his approach. The back of construction. Do they take their chance at the retake? That's a powerful smoke right now. A flash to come out as the incendiary pops new box. They do have banana blocked, but Sphinx still kills Shush. Backsight player shows a little something, and Stown's gonna take that as a chance to leave. Mm, almost not for free, but Kadian sends another one back. So a quick pop into the B site, heroic. They lose their consecutive chance. You talked about it, Maui. They get the opening kill, but they fall back into their passive setup. Yep. Exactly. And clearly, they needed more than that. That's how powerful these execs are, even in that situation. But nobody watching Balcony. I mean, all of a sudden, oh, no. you're going to lose Pit. And if you lose Pit, this short setup could get unraveled. But the timing on the peak! Tessess capitalizes upon them. And then as they cross back over, it's Dupree to try and bounce back. Tessess again! Three instrumental kills coming out of Tessess. But that bomb could still go down, which means Vitality could still take this. Dupree, the only kill thus far. Zywu's got the cover of the pit, and Zywu's got that magic in him. Flash above, looks to shave them off. He's got vision on the bomb. He's got Kadian, however, right on him. And so Tessess takes it into his own hands. Not once, not twice, but thrice. It could be the all-in from Vitality. They got no presence elsewhere. This is good from Heroic. Yeah, though. super good. But they, they jump the timing. They go through as the smoke's still up, and it costs them. Tess and Javi hold off the first onslaught. There is still time to redirect, but of course, Stown's gonna start pressing down middle. Him versus Apex, and that door closed on mid. No chance to move away. That's a big better from Stown. Good pressure from Heroic on the front side of the B site, and then also straight down middle. Spinks looking like the only survivor. Heroic with the right call. And rotating early enough to not leave that big gap. But what we also saw was the Winmore style, that heroic. The Galil on Dupree, the low amount of money left over. This could be worth two. Jump over, is oh, the do double nothing. porch set up with rifles. Eyes open, no molly down. Ah. You think that jump's gonna set off the crosshair, but too ready for it. Did Kadian take a shot early on B? Is that why they ran out? Zywu forced out, forced to reclaim something, does so. His teammates, the double Danes, Wait in mid. We'll see if Heroic poke at them, if they prod outwards. That was a key piece, unraveling the mid setup by going for these kinds of aggressions. Magisk chases, finds two, but Zywu gives his back up to Jabby. That presence over on Arch has Zywu's guard down, and now Magisk, 30 health with Bomb, and a player in pit to end him. Jabby puts forth another multi-kill, yes. and Heroic put forth another round. And honestly, an excellent pit player. An excellent pit player. We had G2 to kick things off with Kato. And that is why Heroic need this one. To put themselves in that same realm. But right now, that lane side wide open. A dink on Stown is the end of him. It's not the nicest duel, but Zywu still picks it up. And we'll see if Heroic get a little wild. Can't with shots like that out of Dupree. One health does make a difference. 
Pops Kadian's head. His off gets picked up. Vitality will put an end to the streak here of Heroic. We're tied at six. Great call out of the timeout. Set up on the B site, but now they're a lot weaker over towards A. And they actually believe fully in the information. So now it's going to be about Shush. He is always in this spot. Last shot. Last bullet. Finishes off Zaiwu. Desperate for his help to come back. And give it another chance. Whoa. Oh, clean. Oh, what a clothesline out of Shush. Little three bullet burst and it takes Apex straight out of this one. Shush has done a fantastic job of buying critical amounts of time. The bomb got stopped. Oh. And then Shush comes through with another. And the pressure out of Heroic is everywhere. Oh, everybody got back as if they never left because Shush not if only not did Shush, save alive. Then nothing there for Heroic. One man wall. Shush, just right there in the pit. If he falls immediately, that is a done round. He had to get that one, and he kept on fighting no. too. That second kill, that's risky. And that's his smoke, right? No! He's yes. not using that as a one way on the bike. He's using the bike the same exact way, but now extending the wall to his left, leaving the fight open. Fast, very quick, through smoke, Saiwu. Shreds two, Tess up. And if it's gonna be a heroic win, it's gotta come from top to bottom. Oh. And Tess looking to put up the next multi kill in this one. Three kills already! Oh. 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 But Sphinx will answer an immediate two kill. And guess what? Who's left? Shush yet again. He's got the util. An incendiary here for Sphinx. At what time, if even, he throws this out? Gun out the whole time. Don't wanna get caught. It's where you press tab and think about tendencies. How would Sphinx play this? He could be anywhere. He's hidden. Shush. Starting to piece it together, but the bomb's halfway gone. Oh, Sphinx peeks, catches it. <laughs> Just like that, the moment he hears anything, a smoke tumbling across the ground, that's Sphinx call to action. And that was Tess on six cylinders. Util in abundance, set up off the op. Kadian, it's a missed shot. Vitality, no strangers to rushing through these. Javi jumps out. I mean, he knows that he's pinned against the wall. He knows that his time is limited. Oh, they've already locked off some key spots. And the chances of Vitality to take one more round, this is it. It's a lead on the line. And it's a retake needed by the looks of it. Or is Bomb so delayed that things kind of get awkward here? Smoke will be refreshed inside of CT, Ooh. and it's too hard for the CTs to re-aggro, so unless... You know, some Deus Ex Machina happens right now. This bomb is getting planted. Oh, oh, oh what? my god, and there it is! Now it's down! He could challenge the bomb! Oh, oh, he does! Stops it! Sphinx looking to come back around! And Dupree, well, with just one, it's next up, Kadian! No way they have somehow reclaimed this! Dupree traded out by Shush! Back and forth we go to the very end! The very end of this season! With one round the difference! Come on, I get why they're taking their time. But they've made their decision. It's gonna be into the B site. Zaiwu awaits them, his Beretta's ready. But just two. Just two, bomb plant is a lock. Can't Apex. stop that. Can't get into this one. Now just quickly on the flank, gets oh. stuffed by Jabby. He knows there's another. Gets away from him though. Three kills to the Berettas between Zaiwu and Dupree. And now the 2v2, but there's individual duels going down. And Dupree's oh. reloading two guns. No kit. Pops back up. Bomb nearing the halfway point. He's going to just try to pepper, charge down this gap, and then get on top of that bomb. Oh. But if he gets oh. this 10-second stick, this would be incredible. Washington, you hold your tongue. You you just wait. But he comes up. Oh, oh he comes up. Uh, Stan was about to look. Yeah, okay. I didn't hear anything, so... That was the swing. Split decision. Well-timed nade. That could help. Oh. oh. And unarmored, Zywu pulls off the headshot. Zywu is second. Does he have more left? He's getting sworn three for Zywu. The unarmored deagle of all of them. Of course, he puts his best foot forward. Chance attempt here from Apex, met by another smoke, but remember, Jabby's low. Yeah, that MP9 could be licking this lips, but Jabby takes him out the pasture, and then Apex goes down too. That's a rook on 11. And they're gonna send Tess in first. Still no bomb.
Tessess knocking on Coffin's door. And Magisk tucked behind Nubox. Awkward fight. Bomb is only going to be picked up in a matter of seconds. Oh. Now turns this around, though. And if they can clear out the bomb site, then the bomb is inbound. But they aren't even rotating. No, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, oh, the bomb oh, is... Oh, no. Well, at 25 seconds, it's no. going towards the A site. It can't be real. And the CTs haven't moved. And now the last kill comes Dude. down on this site, and Kadian is about to walk into You're a not. death trap. You're not the main character. And he plays the wrap around short. He thinks that he has convinced them that that site is clear. Once he gets onto Banana, the round is theirs to grab. They can double fight CT if they want to. They could stick together. But if he goes to the other side, he has to bet that they're not there. All in on A is the call. And CT's keeping heads tucked. Just buying time until it's the chance to pop up, but Dupree doesn't finish his kill. Jabby's gonna stay fixated on this. Sphinx falls down, and his gun is empty. So they clear them all out, step by step, piece by piece. Heroic unravel the hole. I'm gonna put this very frankly. This is how bad the round is for Vitality. Trying to muster up another A play. Last time, three defenders not enough. This time, four. It's a wrap around the arch. Dupree drawn into a gunfight that he can't win, but they're still gonna try to press out, even with the apartments player there and successful. Apex, he's not sure who to shoot at, but he stops the bomb. Shush comes back with the return. The SMG is still able to thrive. Ooh. Sphinx keeps his head down, but that's two rifles that have fired off in pit. Jabby comes hunting, dies to Magisk. Bomb is still down, and Magisk delivers! Oh my god, they, they forgot that there was two in pit? Or like, Shush just froze up there. It's like he didn't even know there was a player in big pit. Kadian oh, wow. didn't seem to know either. This is building on what you have created in this half yep. to condition. And still testing this A site in the end. Oh, they line up but not well enough. Dupree, under pressure, stops the bomb. He's worried about somebody above, but they were all on lane already. Three members of Heroic alive, and none of them off the top rope. All of them on his level. And this is finally punishing Vitality for playing blind. This is saying, if you want to play blind this many times, I don't care if you win, you're still insecure. Which is an excellent call out of Kadian to do exactly that. Seeing so many rounds without pressure, without presence, no informational plays, you just said the words, don't write off Kadian. Closer to a sigh of relief, but they meet Zaiwu. They approach the apartments. Zaiwu just posted on his own. We do have a shift of energy completely. We've got vision inside of halls, bottom B control yes. into the instant 5v4 at a minute 20. Feeling as though they've let this game go too long without being active, oh. but it opens oh, up no. a timing. A flash on Arch. Look at this. Two CTs trying to get away. They just lost Dupree in the apartments. And with a four versus five, Kadian recovers it. Whoa. The flash with the off shot being missed into the punish, into pushing you back into your spawn. And Dupree somehow dying up in the apartments, I think. They just assumed, they assumed that Heroic weren't going to keep it up. We saw that wasn't the case, that everybody, it, this was almost like it could have been a call out of spawn and said, no matter what happens, we're going to commit to this fight. And even if Dupree won that duel against Kadian, he was getting swung on from balcony as well. Sure. There was wow. no hope for him there. But I love how vicious Shush was. Down turns into the corner. This could be a huge opening kill either way. If Apex gets left alone, he's done. Apex makes a step, Magis pounces on it, but he's not able to get that second. It's Tess has to quickly respond, even with the damage, and they fall back. Even with the damage, I'd say this is, the, this is what Heroic are, are looking for in this situation. Okay, Sphinx is moving forward. Sphinx, Sphinx is taking matter in his own hands. He's, he's actually going to find this out. Is it fast enough? We saw That's the, the question. We saw the speed last time in the halls pop. Dupree coming in. He has a flash. He has got to be quick. No hesitation versus this heroic. Incendiary down in front. They burn their last smoke. There's a gap to come clearly around it. Flash over. Apex is going to take it onto his own shoulders. Dupree comes through with nothing. Apex falls with nothing. And heroic so close now to the only thing they wanted this year, that always elusive first place. It comes down to a flash retake into the B side and Heroic say, we mess you up every day of the week on a play like that. That's the first thing we were ready for. They're non-existent other than Spinks. I mean, the whole story, Vitality success, the reason they go back to back events is because the Danes stepped up.
and the shortcomings we saw in Washington upon their arrival, we chalked it up to a little rust because they took off Dallas. But we've seen the success of Dupree and Magisk since that opening game. We are not getting any of it tonight. For the new fans that may be watching Heroic Story emerge, they might be thinking, well, why haven't they won? I just started this year. Unleash well, now, Sayu. Heroic. Send him. They won over the core fans, but now they can win all of them. Heroic looking for a chip. At the final tournament of the season, 5v4 versus the reigning major champs to stop the momentum of Vitality as they were collecting all of the scalps of the best teams in the world. Dupree given one more chance, but he only puts up one more kill. And all Heroic need is one more round. But Zaiwu is alive, and he is looking for more. Shush crosses into the backside. Zaiwu probably feeling like he has no support in this moment. If you are the best in this world, if you are the best of this year, then show us. Prove it. Apex, a little bit of damage. They're still worried about some kind of a flank, some kind of a lurk, and who other than Kadian to strike them down? The Jester makes a fool of Their first chip of the season oh from fall man. final yeah. to spring final. The last yeah. word. The team that anybody would argue deserved it the most finally proved it. And Kadian finally gets his flowers. And so to close the spring season, who steps forth today for the final trophy lift of the spring season in Washington?